Hey, yo, check it out. I know this last minute, but go to My Spirit Food. We live for Lunch Break Bible Study. Make sure you go there right now, okay? And check it out. I want you to think about all that you are, not all that you are not. Stay positive. You can do all things through Christ Jesus. Come join us right now. Yo, we live. Lunch Break Bible Study. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Hey, uh, Kel Mitchell here. Pastor Kel Mitchell. Uh, what is up? Y'all like my sunglasses? I found these, man. This is like, you know, if you know Star Trek, these are like the Geordie joints. <laughs> Yo, this is straight 80s. All right, y'all. <laughs> Always try to have a good time. Uh, God bless everybody that's in here. Everybody uh, that's joined us for Lunch Break Bible Study. Y'all know what it's about. We come on here uh, and we give glory to God in the middle of our day. Uh, we give him praise uh, in the middle of our day, take a break and just say, Heavenly Father, help me with my day. Help me, um, you know, get more connected with you. You might be going through some stuff. You might have went through some stuff this morning. Somebody might be testing you. You know what I mean? And you're just saying, hey, look, I want to take a quick break uh, and just give God the glory. Uh, remember the words that he told me and I can get through it. All right. So check it out. We have a lunch break Bible study. What's up? Blessings from Mexico. What's up, y'all? I see y'all in here. Mexico in the building. That's what's up. So, yo, I'm going to read um, from Bless Mode, right? And uh, I figured I'd do... Uh, one from uh, this devotion. It was number eight uh, in the book. If you got the book, this is number eight. Uh, and I figured I would do this one because uh, it's so important for us to speak positive over ourselves. Um, it's so much going on right now with negativity in this world uh, and people being negative. And right about now, we need to speak beautiful, kind words, all right? And that mean over others and over ourselves because we don't know how our words uh, can hurt someone, can uh, put someone in depression, frustration, whatever it may be. Uh, and the things that you talk to in your own mind, the things that you might be saying, or someone's trying to get you to dislike someone else or be negative to someone else and you don't even feel that way um, and you uh, need that discernment to know like, oh, I want to respond in love and I don't want to respond in a negative way and I don't agree with what you're saying. Um, you have to let God take control, okay? Let God take control. Uh, that's so important. Don't let um, someone else take control. You know what I mean? When we give other people control over our our lives, then we can only do as much as what they can do. You know what I mean? Or if you say, hey, I'm going to control my life and it's only so much you can do with your power and all power is from God. So we want to make sure that God takes control because when he takes control, it's going to be ultimate power. It's going to be ultimate love. It's going to be ultimate glory. It's going to be grace. It's going to be loving. It's going to be peaceful. And that's what I want. So I want God to take control of my life every day. Uh, take control of my decisions, take control of everything that I'm doing. Um, that way that I can respond in a beautiful way. All right. So lunch break Bible study. What's up? What's up? I see y'all in here. What's up? Let's get it. So this one is called All That God. Uh, All That is actually coming back on Netflix, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that's going to be up on Netflix. So I figured I'll do one uh, about being all that. And we are all that because of all that God has done in our lives. Woo! I love that. I love that. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. We're going to talk about our all that God, our all that God. God can get us through anything. So turn to Philippians uh, chapter four, verse 13, Philippians chapter four, verse 13, because this is Bible study and I want y'all to get into it. All right. So <clears throat> all that God, and this is from Bless Mode. Uh, if you haven't grabbed you a copy, go make sure you grab you a copy. Uh, but yeah, Bless Mode. Now, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Christ who strengthens me. Christ gives us the strength to get through whatever we're going through. If there's anything in your life that you need to get through, if there's anything in your life, a barrier that you want to get through, a breakthrough in your life, something that you've been praying on, uh, God is going to help you as you're going through it until you get to the victory. And I know it might be hard. 
I know it might be stressful, uh, whatever you might be going through, but just know that God is with you, holding your hand through it, and he's going to get you there, all right? Uh, understand that he gives us the strength that we need. You might say, man, I need strength. You know, it's a lot going on in the world. It's a lot going on right now uh, that I'm dealing with. You might be saying that, and you're saying to yourself, I need strength, and that strength comes from Christ. All right. That strength comes from Christ. Trust in God, trust in his strength, trust in what Christ has done for us, giving us the victory and stay faithful. I got that right here on here. Stay faithful. Stay faithful. That means you got to have a faith. You might not see it in the natural, but just know it's going to come. All right. Know that you're going to get the victory through Christ Jesus. All right. So bless mode. All right. So the name of this one is called all that God, all that God. OK, so hashtag bless mode. I'm going to read this to you. All right. <laughs> so think about all that you are instead of all that you are not. Mm. Think about all that you are instead of all that you are not. I read this quote the other day and it really spoke to me. It's so easy to focus on the negative. Isn't it right? So I thought it was cool that this quote had the phrase all that in it. That's the name of the Nickelodeon sketch comedy show for kids that kicked off my television career. Right. But what does the name of the show mean? Where did we get it from? Back in the 90s, before the television show came out, people used the phrase all that in sentences like he's all that in a bag of chips or he think he's all that or she thinks she's all that. <laughs> Online definitions uh, say things like superior, as good as it gets. Online definitions say things like uh, has it all together, the best. OK, and that's what our show was. Top of the top, too cool as good as it gets. That's why we called it all that, right? So let's read the first uh, quote a little more closely. Think about all that you are instead of all that you are not. One phrase that really sticks out to me is think about. Think about. Life really ha is how we perceive it. Life is really how we perceive it, how we think about it. What do you believe? Okay. How do you view what happens to you or new circumstances or challenges? You have a choice to have a positive state of mind or a negative state of mind. I'll say that again. You have a choice to have a positive state of mind or a negative state of mind, a hopeful mind or a doubtful mind. The choice is really up to you. OK, it's all up to you. It may seem simplistic, but I believe it's true. Change your thinking, change your life. Change your thinking, change your life. The beautiful thing about changing your mind, about choosing to change the way you perceive things is that you can start anytime. Anytime you can start it. It's never too late. Okay. All that you are, you have been created in God's image. So all that you are should be all of God. Woo! What more could we possibly want or hope for? I sometimes like to use the phrase all God, hashtag all God, instead of all that, okay? I say all God instead of all that now. You know why? Because if all that means superior in all things, all God is more than we can ask or imagine, more than superior. And it means we are able to do all things we put our minds to because of all God in us, in us. Woo! -hoo! We are all that because of all God has done for us. I want you to write that down. We are all that because of all God has done for us. So let's praise him, praise him, give him all the praise. We are all that because of all God has done for us. If he did it before, he can do it again. Say that 
Write it down. If he did it before, he can do it again. Do not let the enemy, do not let the devil make you think negative in a negative way because you're on a new level in your life and you have this new problem or this new barrier or this new thing that has come up and he's going, oh, you can't get through this. Where's your God now? Your God's still here because your God is all that. He's all God. He's king of all kings. So if he did it before... He can do it again. You can get a breakthrough. You can get a blessing. You got to trust. Stay faithful. Never give up. It's all about right here. You're thinking. Okay? Think about all that you are. You are a child of God. Child of God. So do not give in to emotion. Do not give in, give in to negative talk. Do not give in uh, to frustration and depression. Keep going. Keep going. God loves you all God, we are all that because of all God has done for us and is doing for us and is going to do for us. That's us putting our trust in him and putting our faith in him. And that's not an easy task to do, but understand that you can do it. And he gives us the Holy Spirit to comfort us, to make it, uh, to help us be able to be able to do it. All right. The Holy Spirit is a comforter and will comfort you through it until you get to the victory, until you get to the breakthrough of whatever you may be dealing with in your life. So today, right now, somebody needs to hear that you were beautifully, you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. You are special to God. He still loves you. He has put something special in you and put a purpose in you. So go after it. Go after it today. Trust in him. Or just have peace today. Don't get frustrated by what's going on in the world. Don't get so upset about what's going on, you know? And don't get all caught up in negative talk about others or about yourself. I want you to know that you are all of God because God is in you. He's in you. All right? Woo! Okay, we are all that because of all God has done for us. So let's praise him. Woo. All right. So now level up your faith. Lord, you are alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. You are all that and then some. And I can do all things because of you. <laughs> I worship your holy name. You give me strength to endure. All that I am and will be is because of your protection and guidance. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to repeat that with me. Repeat this with me. Say, Lord, you are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are all that and then some. And I can do all things because of you. I worship your holy name. You give me strength to endure. All that I am and will be is because of your protection and guidance. I give you praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Woo! Amen. 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 Give him praise. He gives you strength. He gives you protection. And he gives you endurance. And he gives you guidance. But we have to pay attention. We have to take the time to be still. Stop going, ah! I just take the time to be still and listen to him. You know, uh, over, over Sunday, we had Youth Sunday, and uh, I was talking about quicksand. And I was talking about being caught up in quicksand. When you get caught up in sin and you get caught up in hate or someone doing you wrong that you thought was, you know, a nice person, you know, like how sand looks nice, but then quicksand, it looks like uh, sand, but it's not. It's a mixture of a whole bunch of different other things that makes it quicksand, right? And so we have to have discernment to understand what that is and when it's pulling us down and to understand how to get out of it, how to get out of that quicksand, uh, how to not even get into it in the first place, to look for the signs, you know, a sign that might say, hey, quicksand up ahead. That's that discernment where God will let you know, hey, don't do this. Don't make that decision. Don't, don't, I don't think you should walk down that path. I don't think you should have that type of friend. I don't think you should 
turn that on on your computer and watch that. I think you should do this. I think you should praise me. I think you should do something righteous, more righteous. But we have to be open to God and invite him in our hearts so we know uh, what to do in those situations. And if you happen to get stuck in this sin or uh, a habitual sin that you want to get out of, understand this is that God is always there ready for you to come to him. So if that is you in that situation, then he'll get you out of it, you know, but you have to trust in him and you got to sacrifice and really be obedient and love him and listen, listen to God. Okay. Listen to God, study his word, right? So you can get out of that quicksand. Uh, On Sunday, I show people, uh, you know, you can't actually get out of quicksand and to go up to your uh, stomach, you know what I mean? But if you stay in it, of course, your animal could come and get you. You know what I mean? Your 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 veins uh, could pop because of how hardened the sand gets around the, the body. But if you stay still and don't get frantic and don't get crazy, right? Uh, and you stay still and you move back and you wiggle your legs just a little bit and you move back and you start to backstroke, uh, you could end up getting out of it. But it's all about being still and being calm. Uh, it's really a deep thing when you think about being still and being calm, being calm in every situation. Uh, And the only ways we can do that is by turning to God and turning to the Holy Spirit who gives us comfort in any situation. Because look, life is hard. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Life is hard and things will come up that will came out of nowhere. And the thing about it is, is that we can't get caught up in our mind. The enemy wants us to get so caught up and so mad, so angry and so frustrated. But if we take the time and go, I want to respond to love in this moment, Lord. And I know that you are an all of that God. I know that you, uh, this is happening to me for a reason to teach me something so that I can uh, be made better and that I can forgive and I can have grace. And I know I'm going to come out stronger on the other side of this. So I love you. I trust you, Lord. Even though it's hard, I trust you, Lord. I trust you. And I'm going to get out of this. And you'll see yourself get out of it. And people around you will see you get out of the trouble that you were stuck in. You know what I mean? Like you getting out of quicksand and you did not be not taken under at all. You know, Um, if you're feeling stuck, you know what I mean? If you're feeling stuck today. I'm so glad you got on this Bible study with me right now, because just understand that anything that you are stuck to, just know that God has the ultimate glue. (laughs) You know what I mean? And when you stick with him, he'll pull you out of any dirty, nasty situation. He'll pull you out of it. You just got to seek him. It's about seeking God. Seek God every day. Seek God every morning. Uh, seek him all the time. That That is what I'm all about with telling people. Seek him. You know what I mean? Seek him. That's why I didn't name this book uh, Kale Mode. I named it Bless Mode because Bless Mode is seeking God. Seeking God and putting him in every situation. Every situation. I need his help. I can't do it alone. You know what I mean? And that's the thing for us to understand that when we are weak, he is strong. And that's why we say I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because we can't do it in our own strength. All right. So check it out. Uh, I have at the bottom, go get them blessings. Right. And so you, uh, in this one, in this devotional at the go get them blessings part, I said today, add all God to all aspects of your life. And I do mean all walking the dog, running errands, working, studying, exercising, whatever it is you do today, ask him to be with you, right? To be in you, to assist and guide you. You will be surprised at the extra power you will have to be all that in God's power. Now that's a serious thing, y'all. And and that's what I want you to do. I want you to do that today, right after you get off of this, whatever it may be that you got your new your task, if you're at work, Uh, Whatever you're going to go do for the rest of the day, right before you do it, I want you to ask God to help you do it, okay? And even if you think it's not even difficult what you're about to do, or if it is difficult, either way, I want you to take God with you and actually speak to him. Actually speak with your mouth and say, hey, God, I want you with me. 
I want you with me in this task. I want you with me in this situation. I want you with me. I want to be in your presence, Lord. I want to be in your presence, Lord. Breakthrough is with you. I want you here with me. I want you here with me. Hallelujah. Take them everywhere in your life. Take them everywhere. Just like how we take these phones everywhere, you take the Spirit of God everywhere with you because He gives you strength. Just as important as we need this air we breathe, that's how important you need to be in the presence of God. Real talk. Real talk. Some of y'all got on here for a reason because you need to be reminded of that to make sure that you stay in the presence of God, okay? It's like having an umbrella. When it's raining outside, you have an umbrella and you want to stay dry. Let's say you, you want to stay dry, you got a nice outfit or you want to stay dry, you're not going to take that umbrella off and just be like, and let it just mess up everything. No, you don't keep that umbrella over you. God is your umbrella, your spiritual umbrella, protect, protecting you. You know what I mean? Protecting you. Keeping you safe, all right? So take them wherever you go, just like we take these iPhones. Take them wherever you go, just like you take your breath wherever you go in your lungs because you need it. It's that important, all right? It's so important to be in the presence of God. Write that down if you've taken notes. It's important to be in the presence of God. Every day, I will stay in the presence of God. I will stay in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So, you know, let's break Bible studies are really, really quick. We just tap in, tap out. Right. So uh, and I just want you to take a quick like just a loving empowerment moment from God to say, hey, keep going. You got this. I love you. You are a child of mine. That is what God is telling you. So take me with you. Take me. With. It was a song back in the 80s, I think, called Take Me With You. I don't care where we go. I don't care what we do. Ooh. I don't care, pretty baby. Hey, just take me with you. Oh, that was Prince. Yeah, that was Prince. Of course, he was talking about a girl, and obviously, uh, it wasn't a gospel song. But if you take that meaning where you're saying, I don't care where I go or whatever I'm doing, I'm taking God with me. You know why you take your God with you and why you take our Heavenly Father with you is because he's going to show you how to respond in love. He's going to show you how to stay in blessed mode. He's going to show you grace. He's going to show you guidance. He's going to give you strength. He's going to give you endurance. He's going to uh, give you uh, witty ideas and he's going to help you with your decisions and help you with your life. Hallelujah. Oh, stay in God's presence is so important. All right, so if you came on here and you watching this, throw your hearts up. I see y'all throwing y'all hearts up. Much love. I love you too. It's all about love, y'all. Let's spread this love because I'm telling you, it's a lot of craziness going on in this world today and we want to make sure we spread love. All right, spread love. Y'all go ahead and put that in the comments. Spread love. Spread God's love. All right, so if you're watching this and you're saying, hey, I want that love every day. I want to stay in God's presence every day. Uh, thank you for bringing me on to this lunch break Bible study, but I need God in my life. And if that is you right now, I want you to repeat these words after me, okay? All right, what you're going to do is a salvation prayer. And what that is going to do is that when you die, you're going to go to heaven, right? But you also can have heaven on earth, on earth, and take him everywhere you go. Okay? And he's going to be with you, protecting you, giving you endurance, giving you strength. Oh, it's so important. Invite him into your heart. There's a, all, is a special place in everybody's heart for Christ. We are spirits, all right? And understand that we are living in a spiritual warfare. The enemy wants to take you away from God, but God is telling you, you are mine, and I love you. Stay in the presence of God, all right? So if that is you, repeat after me. Repeat after me and get more of this love that God has, these blessings that God has, all right? Say this, <clears throat> I believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. I believe that Jesus was God in the flesh. Jesus, as my Lord and high priest, I invite you into my heart. You are Lord and Savior over everything I do. And today, I am saved. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If you did that, uh, click the link in the bio. Go to myspiritfood.org uh, to our website and call the church office. And we're going to send you some more information. We're going to send you some beautiful things that can help you, all right, uh, with your new journey with Christ. All right? We want to be able to do that. Okay. Uh, if you need healing or you need any type of prayer, uh, I'm just going to pray for everybody right here. Uh, but you can also call the church office uh, if you want further prayer, okay? But I just pray everybody right here, anything that they're dealing with, any symptoms that they're dealing with. I pray right now, uh, Heavenly Father, that uh, anything that is not of you, it is gone right now in the name of Jesus. Any symptoms, any disease, uh, any, 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 any hurt, any anger, anything that they may be dealing with. And they need your love right now, Heavenly Father. Come into their household, come into their body, come into their uh, spirit, Heavenly Father. The blood of Jesus. Cleanse out whatever is not of you. And bring peace in their life right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 If you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, all you have to do is ask. All right? All you have to do is ask. Uh, if that's you right now, repeat after me. Just say, Heavenly Father, you said if I ask that you would fill me with the Holy Spirit. So today, I'm asking. And when I ask, I will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, fill me. With the Holy Spirit. Say, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Say, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Say, I receive it in Jesus' name. I receive the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I receive the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! All right, look, y'all. So if you want to give a tithe, you want to give an offering, uh, text MYSFCC to 833-245-7382. Once again, text MYSFCC to 833-245-7382. And if you came on this Lunch Break Bible Study late, uh, it will uh, be up on My Spirit Foods page, so you'll be able to rewatch it from the beginning. Um, but just know this. Know that we are all that because of all God does in our life and all of God that is inside of us, all right? That's why it's so important to stay in the presence of God. That's why it's so important to invite Jesus into your heart. And that's why it's so important to respond in love and take the time to respond in love. Stay in the presence of God. And remember the go get them blessings part in the book that I said today, when we get off this live. I don't care what you're about to do. Whatever it is that you're about to do, I want you, before you do it, to ask God to come with you. To If it's a thought, if it's a decision, whatever it may be, I want you to literally stop and go, hey, God, be with me in this next move that I make. Be with me in this next um conversation that I'm about to have on the phone. Be with me in this job interview. Be with me in this exercise. Be with me in cooking this food. Be with me. All right? Take God with you everywhere you go. I love y'all. Awesome, awesome lunch break Bible study. Love y'all. Also, if you want to be baptized, we just did a baptism on Sunday, which was super, super beautiful. Uh, we do baptisms at My Spirit Food. So let us know. Uh, call the church office and we'll baptize you as well. All right. Love y'all. Respond in love. God bless y'all. Yeah.